and welcome back to our Kansas Jayhawks Dynasty in NCAA Football 2011 on the glorious PS2. Today we're going to be playing a triple header and uh, it's going to be a fun one guys. Let's take a look at the schedule as soon as I get this uh, glorious hammer jammer graphic off the screen. There it is. There we go. House broken Michigan State beats Ohio State. Love to see it. You really do. Uh, yeah, let's get into our schedule here. Kansas State, Baylor, and Colorado. Those are the games today. If you're watching this on the second YouTube channel, Optimus Klein 2, uh, you'll be seeing just one. But, yeah. Let me pull up the chat, see who we got. Uh, in the meantime, slap that like button, guys. Subscribe if you do. And join the Discord community. There's a link in the description below. Also... Check out the Hammer Klein podcast on Spotify, guys. That is Hammer Klein, one word, capital H, capital C. Check it out. We talk uh, top 10 quarterbacks going into the new season in the NFL and AFC East predictions, along with just a whole bunch of uh, randomness because, well, that's what Hammer and I do. But yeah. Let's go to Manhattan and take on our rivals, Kansas State. They are 1-3 and three on the season. They're struggling just a bit. Just a bit. We have the number two rush offense. Number 17 defense. Pretty solid. Uh, they performed really well in the last two games against Georgia Tech and against Missouri in the previous game. Uh, Kansas State, though, they're, I mean, they're just struggling everywhere. Uh, the best ranking they have is pass defense, which is 62nd. Uh, we should be able to run the football against these guys a bit. Uh, but hopefully we can stop their offense because last season, uh, we we did not. They kind of crushed us. All right. The Sunflower Showdown. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Somebody just put up 83 points, guys. 83. I gotta go back and see who the heck that was. Oh my goodness, West Virginia puts up 76 on rival Syracuse. Bruh. That is outrageous. Oklahoma crushed Texas. They put up 50 on them. And again, another suspension. This time, the freshman middle linebacker, Tyler Edwards. Oh, you're a starter, son. And he plays on kickoff. Uh, what? Oh, his discipline's a D-. Alright, what did he do? Edwards has missed a few classes and his GPA has dropped below the accepted level. It is highly recommended that we take some disciplinary action before this escalates. Well, somebody else is going to get a shot for the next two games. Uh, I'm in a linebacker here. That's really unfortunate. So we're going to have two freshman uh, players from defense. Uh, Hall Miller is the starting nickel corner. So two starters basically out for the next two contests. That is a big loss, especially on kickoff. Because uh, we always see Edwards running down there and trying to make plays. Yeah, let's go with that one. All right, let's go, boys. Let's get it. Let's go. I'm ready. We got nobody in the chat. Where's everybody at? Not sure who their starting quarterback is. It might be Colin Optimus Klein. Oh, that's actually not where I got my name from. Um, yeah, I didn't know that that guy had that nickname until like two years after I created my channel. It's just funny, though. Do, 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 do. Well, there it is. 
You heard it, folks. Now let's take it down to the captains at midfield. Let's go, Kansas! Rock Chalk Jayhawk, baby! We are the favorites in this game, which I do love to see that. And we are going to kick against the wind to start, so we'll have it in the fourth. Not that I think we'll need it. I think we should be able to handle these guys this season. Uh, I'm really hoping so. All right. Freshman punter Harrison on to start us off today against Kansas State. Let's go. Get him, Fee. Oh, baby. Ooh, good tackle. Let's go. Eric Tavares in the chat. What up, Eric? What's going on, buddy? They do, in fact, have Colin Klein at quarterback this season. Number seven. And a five-yard carry to start the game. 105th ranked offense in the nation. Just 285 yards per game for K-State. And they're going to look to correct that issue here today. And they're off to a pretty good start as they're already up past the 45-yard line. Nice pass out to Johnston. Let's go, linebackers. Get some pressure on him. There's the pressure. And another good throw. Man, Colin Klein is so good. I do not know why he wasn't the starter last season. I mean, obviously they didn't need him because they still destroyed us anyway. But, man, he's so good. Taking a break from job and apartment searches in Illinois. Nice. Oh, Wildcat. Nice tackle by Tharp. Let's go, baby. Two tackles already in the game. He's averaging nearly four tackles a game. Eric, did you check out the Hammer Klein podcast yet, buddy? About an hour and, what, 15 minutes of, of me and Hammer just kind of chilling, hanging out, talking football. And there's another wide open pass, this time to Means, and he's going to pick up nine yards. Our defense looking a little shaky to start this one. Need the front seven to step their game up. Just, oh my goodness. That is what I'm afraid of with Colin Klein. They're just taking off and Jordan Fee has injured his hip on the play. Oh, boy. So now we're going to be on our, what is it, our third, our fourth middle linebacker now? Jay Washington, what's going on, brother? Well, let's take a look at our linebackers because uh, we're, we're in rough shape right now. Suspension before the game. And, yeah, we suspended Edwards for two games. Fee is now injured. He will return, though, so that's good. So, oh, my goodness. Do we have another middle linebacker I could put there or what? Johnny Kent, uh, true freshman. He's going to get his shot. First playing time for Johnny Kent. Let's go. Hammer Jammer here for two seconds, and you broke my linebacker. You're taking full responsibility, my guy. Line breaking a tackle, breaking another one. Oh, my goodness gracious. Holden Tharp with the tackle. Yeah, Pitt beat Rutgers 83-3. to Wow. How do you lose by 80? Put a spy on him. Well, I'm hoping that just blitzing Klein will be a, a difference maker for us. But right now, uh, this offense is just having their way with us. And you know what? I, I just, I really just don't approve of it, you know? I'm not enjoying it. Hip bursitis for Jordan Fee. He will return, so in the meantime, we'll still see Kent. 
As I already forgot his name because, well, he's fourth string. Oh, what a spin move. Good recovery, though, to make the tackle by 97. That's the defensive tackle. What his name be? What is it? Oh, that's Johnson. Okay. Johnson Jr. Second out and goal from just outside the five-yard line for K-State. And get that out of my face. I baited him into that throw. Alright, third and goal. This is a big play. And we're going to go... I think I'm going to keep going man coverage. We're going to have a spy from uh, Fee, who returned from injury. He will be spying. And we're going to blitz Johnson, who had, what, four sacks and a pick last game. We got pressure on him. Nice deflection. Let's go. Colin Klein just breaks away from at, at least the first tackle attempt every time. Guy is ridiculously good. All right, so a good stand at the end. That was a really good drive uh, from the Wildcats, but... Our defense able to hold strong in the end. And that kicker, oh my sweet baby Jeebus. He does, he does not have a leg like the kicker from Missouri. Alright, see if we can get our offense going here. Terzilli! Got no blocking. Awesome. Weren't able to watch the full stream last night. We saw Mizzou didn't win, so it's overall a good season. Absolutely. As long as we beat Mizzou, it's all that matters. We're going to go 5-0 and against them. Bet. Our stadium pulse goes higher than your guys'. Haha. -ha. Run, Lewis. Oh, my goodness. Lewis with a stiff arm. And he might go. Rel Lewis, he had a big game against Missouri, and he's got another big run here. Touchdown, KU, just like that in one play. The fireworks are starting already. Let's go. Love to see it. You don't see a, a stiff arm from Rel Lewis very often. The senior running back putting on a show in his final year. 79-yarder. He had, what, an 84-yarder against Missouri? Where's the Mizzou fan when you need him? <laughs> I'm sure he'll show up. Extra point up and good from Francis. And it's 7-0 just like that. Or 7-3, rather. Excuse me. Georgia Tech rebounds again. They're 4-1 on the year. Ohio State beats Penn State. Do, 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 do. Oh my goodness, nice tackle fee. Alright, Hammer, you gotta tell me what number you see on your computer, buddy. Tell me the number and I'll say it out loud. Better hurry up before that code goes away, buddy. All right, defense, let's go. Let's not allow any points this time around. That's my fault. Too bad it was uh, not a good throw. Hammer, tell me. It's 82. Boom. Got it. All right, bet. All right, let's, uh, let's try not to get burnt again like that because that, uh, that was pretty rough, not going to lie. All right, defense, come on. Come on now, baby. Quick pass, and there was three defenders all over him. How's the first week at work? I mean, we're almost done with week two already. But, I mean, this job is so relaxing. It's just so, it's so chill, you know? I love it. It's very easy. I'm not breaking my back. The occasional jolt of electricity. 
I could live with that. It's not a whole lot. And deep down. Oh my goodness, he fumbles it! Are you kidding me right now? Pick it up! Oh my. Excuse me. How can I not return that fumble recovery? Uh, game? EA, what are you doing? Frank in the chat. What up, Frank? What up, brother? Tyler Hunt, and he's going to break inside the 40-yard line. Ground game is already up to 92 yards. You do love to see it. It's so crazy to me. It's such like an extreme difference from Georgia Tech's defense and everyone else's. They are just so good. Day off today, Frank. Nice, buddy. Oh, what a pitch. Rel Lewis. Oh, he breaks a tackle. Rel Lewis. A man dives and misses. Rel Lewis is gone for his second touchdown in the corner. Let's go. He's popping off right now. Oof. Oh, that was pretty. Man. It's not like he's just getting straight line touchdowns. I mean, people are just falling down. Just flat out falling on their face right now. Francis on for the extra point. Make it an 11 point ball game. It is up, and it's good. 14-3 in the first quarter from Manhattan, Kansas, in the Sunflower Showdown. Those ankles had a family. They did. But they're dead. They're just dead. We've had the ball for three plays, and we've got two touchdowns. Efficiency, boys. Let's go. Come on, Fee. Get there. I'm not sure where he was juking, but it did not work. Let's see if Colin Klein on the offense can rebound for K-State after the fumble on the previous drive. A little play action. Nice catch for James, the tight end. I expect this offense to calm down a little bit and be a little more efficient. Oh, it's a face mask from Holden Tharp. That's a bit unfortunate. Also, while you guys are here, if you haven't already voted on the community poll... I asked if you guys would be interested in seeing a Campus Legend to NFL Superstar series. It would be on uh, one of the 09 to 11 games, because the college games have Super Sim at that point. It would most likely be 09, to be honest. Because, well, we already have 11 on the channel. So why not get 09? You know what I'm saying? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Second down at 7. And they're going to go play action. Man, wide open. Right side. Bounces off the back of his head. He somehow catches that. They're saying he actually caught that in bounds. That is outrageous. I'm not challenging, though, because that was only a four-yard gain. Get him! And he falls forward. Anderson moves the chains for the Wildcats. You know, I'd like to get some more, uh, more pressure in the backfield. It's just not happening so far in this game. We got through a couple times, but then Colin Klein just made everybody fall down. I missed. That is extremely unfortunate. Touchdown, Kansas State. What a run from Anderson. 
I missed my tackle, and I'm not sure where the safety was. Oh, man, he was... He fell down. So unfortunate, fellas. All right. K-State not playing around, boys. And it is now 14 to 10. Not sure why I'm uh, going along with their fight song, but here I am. Let's go, Sims. Okay. Okay, Sims. Wow, what a return that was. That was beautiful. Two broken tackles. Again, going along with their fight song. Alright, we're going to try something crazy here. Probably not going to work, but you know what? Whatever. Come on, Bashir, just catch that. Aww. Alright, we'll just give all the momentum back to K-State. That's fine. Well, that's what I get for trying to take a shot downfield. It's funny, you know, we don't throw it at all the entire game. And then the one time that we do, they're, they're just ready for it, you know? Craziness. One second left here in the first quarter. Draw! We should probably, uh, you know, not let him get 12 yards every time. Anderson with 74 yards in the game already as we head into the second quarter up 14-10 to 10 over our rivals, the Kansas State Wildcats. Let's go, D. We don't want that. We want that. Let's go. Lee recovers the fumble. Second fumble of the game for Kansas State. All right, let's get back to, uh, you know, what we were actually doing before. And that's pounding the rock. All right, we got a safety in a corner on the right. We got a man almost off sides there. Hunt trying to stiff arm two defenders. Gets one and picks up three yards. All right. I'll take that. Hopefully everybody's having a great week so far on this glorious Thursday. And that did not work out too well. All right, third down and six to go. Go back to our bread and butter. A butter. The power option. This time with Hunt being the main guy. Oh, great blocking pick in the open field. Kale pick, he might go. Does he have the speed? Number 34 giving chase. Touchdown, Kansas. Oh, my goodness. 34, great job by him. Uh, to stick right there with the quarterback and hit him, but just a little too late. Kale pick, uh, best run of the season for him so far. And that was a 58-yard scamper. Extra point from Francis up and good. 21 to 10 is now the score. Harrison boots it.
Oh, a nice tackle by Fee. Let's go, man. Huge hit. All right, they're going to come out five wide receivers. So let's go nickel, cover three. Let's do it. We've only had the ball for seven plays on offense. We have 193 yards and 21 points to show for it. That's beautiful. Nice spin move by Means. Second down and four. And wide open is Johnston. I'm not sure what the right corner is doing. Just kind of hanging out. I guess they're just going to keep feeding the ball to Means. He's doing pretty good. He's receiving the ball. He's run the ball a couple times now. And he's moving the chains for him. Oh my goodness, what a hit. I don't know how that wasn't picked off. But again, getting the ball to their playmaker on this drive. Second down and six for Colin Klein and the Wildcats. And I, I'm just not fast enough to keep up with Jackson. I also got a terrible pass deflection animation. And Missouri hangs 50 points on Nebraska. Wow, what a win over the number four Cornhuskers. Look at that animation. What in tarnation is that? K-State still fighting. Trying to stay in the game. Making it a, a close one. Only down four now with the extra point. Man, that kicker... His kick power has got to be about 60. Will we have 10 plays of offense in the first half? Let's see. Let's go, Terzilli. Let's get it, baby. All right, get up to the, what, 22-yard line-ish? They've had the ball 20 more plays than us. That is insane. Kale Pick. Nice blocking again. Pick down the left sideline. Staying on his feet. Pushed out of bounds around the 47-yard line. What a run from the quarterback. See that block? Oh, my goodness. Pick with 83 yards rushing in the game already. Uh, just two carries. Really? Come on, boys. That's unfortunate. No, I don't want to see the replay. All right, second down and 16 now. Finally, we're going to get our 10th play of offense in the game. Crowd going crazy. I, I don't know what just happened there. I died. All right, third down and 18. Good grief. Let's go corners on both sides. Jenkins, I'm throwing it up to you. Better catch it. Nope. That's, hello? Where was that throw going? 
I threw that to Circle, and the ball just skied over his head. And the outside linebacker gets his first pick of the season. We are just falling apart now. Kansas State with all the momentum. We really need to get pressure on Colin Klein. Or this is going to be a long day for the defense. There we go. Got the sack that time. And that was Johnson Jr. Unless that was a design quarterback run. It may have been. Nope. They give him credit for a sack. Second down and 11. Anderson, nice jukes. Oh, my goodness. Gets about, what, 14 yards on the carry. Closing in on 100 yards for the game. Offenses are just having fun out there. Not so much our quarterback, but, yeah. The rushing attack, for sure. Oh my goodness. I don't know why, but just every time that he touches the football, I, I get a little scared. We have zero passing yards. That's tough. Second down and seven. Nice tackle. The tight end gets uh, one yard on the reception. Colin Klein, seven straight completions. You can't even complete one. This is a big play, third and six. If we stop them here, uh, they're not kicking a field goal, that's for sure. How, what is that animation? Where is he trying to deflect that ball away to? Oh my word. That is so unfortunate. That should have been a stop. I was in the perfect spot to make the play. Let's go, D. Good tackle. Means with like his sixth catch of the half. One twenty seven remaining in the half. Who do I even try to cover there? Thank goodness I had some help. All right, third and five. No way I don't get the deflection on that. Oh, my goodness gracious. Boise State beats Fresno State 17-14. to 14. What a game for them to stay undefeated. All right, I got to cover the tight end here. They're going to run it. This dude is wide open. Kansas State taking the lead with less than a minute remaining in the first half. Man, oh man. I mean, he is just by himself. That was man coverage, too. Supposedly. <laughs> And nearly blocked. We actually just killed the kicker. Hopefully he's all right. Good job, Candle. I mean, if you're going to lay him out, you might as well go all the way. Just big hit him, you know? All right, Sims. Wow, that dude just kicked it about 7,000 yards. All right, 53 seconds. What shall we do? Got all our timeouts left. Crowd is going crazy now. K-State with a lead. It's been a really good game. 
And really good play by the defense. All right. We do get the ball to start the third quarter, so I don't know. Let's go power option. If we can get a, a big chunk play here, might start calling timeouts. Nope. All right, we're just going to try to run the clock out then. That is so unfortunate. I guess we can chuck one up. Snap it with about 10 seconds left, I think. If we get anything out of it, you know, it'll give us a little bit of time for one more play after. Got him beat. Can he get there? Oh, he caught it and dropped it. All right, we'll just punt it away. Just getting some unlucky plays so far. And that will end the first half. Kansas State. On top, 24-21 as we head into the locker rooms. Bit of a surprise. Uh, we've turned the ball over a few times, which obviously we need to clean that up. Defense is uh, surprisingly struggling quite a bit. I, mean, I knew Colin Klein was you know, going to be a problem, but it's not just him. Everybody else on their team is performing very well on offense. Let's go, Sims. Nice juke move. Sims up past the 30 to the 31. Good return. And he's hurt. Fantastic. That's all we need is uh, more injuries, more suspensions, you know. Just give us all the bad things, please. Wow, my, my chat just loaded, guys. So forgive me if I have not been responding. Good tackle. Where's the D? I don't know what's going on with the defense, Eric. This is... I don't know, man. <laughs> K-State's just having a, a good game overall. I hate when my chat just doesn't load for me sometimes. Feels bad. That didn't work. I apparently can't switch that run to the left side. So, third down at six coming up. Sims out for two weeks with a sprained elbow. You do not need your elbow. You catch the ball and you just run people over. That's all you got to do. Great block, right tackle. Okay, the right tackle is the worst lineman on the channel in history. I'm just saying. I mean, I know we had some bad ones for the Marine Corps. But come on, bruh. You're on your backside uh, more than Lana Rhodes, alright? That's what I'm talking about. Alright, we're going to punt it away. This is definitely not how we wanted to start the second half. Feels really bad. Wow, really good spin there from Young. And Colin Klein on the offense, set to take the field again. Can we stop them? Please, I'm begging. I'm begging, baby. Come on. And there we go. Good stop on the screen pass. I really want to hit the quarterback. Can we can we do that? Please? Come on, man. Just get in the backfield and actually bring him down. Instead of missing the sack attempt every time. He's wide open. Oh, my goodness. Got to make a play on that ball. Got to deflect it. 13 straight completions. Am I going up against Aaron Rodgers right now? What the heck? 
go. Third down and six. We need this stop desperately. Or this, uh, this is going to be a rough, rough second half. I don't like this. Lo Are you serious right now? Oh, man. Say it ain't so, baby. I can't believe you caught that. It deflected right off of uh, Lubbock Smith's hands. Unreal. If I threw that ball, that's a pick six. 100%. They might miss the extra point. Their kicker has no leg. He's kicking with a nub. Oh, I almost blocked that, and he did make the extra point. That's so unfortunate. All right. We're down 10 now. 3.50 to go in the third. Let's go, Murphy. I don't know who you are, but you better return this for a touchdown. That's a good return, though, up to the 29. I'll take it. Now, uh, offense, can we do the thing where we get in the end zone? Can we do that? We've had no yards the past, like, six minutes in this game. Please block for me. Run, pick. Don't you dare fumble that football. Oh my goodness. Alright, second out of one. That was a good run. I'll take it. And we died. That time it was number 67. I believe that's the left tackle. No, that's the left guard that just disintegrated into thin air. I think K-State might have our number, boys. Obviously, we're still going to try, though. Uh, let's go. Come on, Tyler. No blocking. Good grief. I mean, we're just dying in the backfield almost every play now. Our defense needs to step up and make a game-changing play for us. High snap to Harrison. My goodness. Special teams is dropping the ball. Listen here, Marvin. We're not getting wrecked, all right? We just we have no defense, and uh, we, we can't we can't run the ball anymore. So, yeah, we're getting wrecked. You're right. <laughs> oh, boy. We've also had, what, two, three injuries in this game? Something like that. We had to suspend a player before the game. Like, come on, man. We can't stop the run. Oh, boy. And Anderson over 100 yards rushing. Yeah, we had over 200 yards of offense with like three minutes left in the second quarter. And now here we are uh, with 211 yards with just over two minutes to go in the third. Feels really bad. I'm not even going to lie. It's, it's been a rough showing for the past uh, full quarter. Colin Klein has thrown like two incomplete passes the entire game. Guys are wide open. And there's another injury this time. Our strong safety again. This is the second time he's went down uh, this season. And we got a big play coming up. Third down and five. We need to stop here. Or right, this, uh, this one might be done. Mungo Jerry, what up, Mungo? What's going on, brother? Come on, boys. Get the stop, please. Please. I'm begging. We didn't get the stop. We did not get the stop. Optimus Klein 
from Kansas State gets the first down. I don't know what it is about Kansas State, man. We just, uh, we're, just, it's just not it for us. We were doing good. It was, what, 21 to 10. And they've scored three straight touchdowns. And we've been taking a nap for nearly a quarter and a half. Quarterback draw goes nowhere. That's a good stop. I did not see what the injury report said. Because I had to do a little hot route for the middle linebacker, a little quarterback spy, you know. There we go. Let's go, baby. Marshall with the sack, our second sack of the game. All right, we have to hold them on this play. Like, there's just no other. All right, there's nothing else I can say. We have to stop them. Here we go. Third and 11. Probably the biggest play of the game right here, to be honest. There we go. Got to stop. They're going to have to try a field goal. It'd be a 43-yarder. They're not going to go for the field goal because the kicker is booty cheeks. Fourth and 11. We need it, boys. Man coverage. We got a blitzer. We got a quarterback spy. And we got the sack. Let's go. We needed it. And we got it. 98. Arps. The defensive end with the sack. First of the game for him. All right. Offense. Please. Please. I'm begging you, baby. Block for me. So Anybody. Anyone. I'll give you a dollar. That's all I got. Okay, the right side blocked, but I can't pitch the ball. You guys hear that? That's that's the pitch button. I hit it. So extremely unfortunate. We need a big play. Second and 13. Are you kidding me? Well, oh my goodness. Third and 18. Really rough spot for this offense. We have not completed a pass all game. That pump fake literally saved my life. Man wide open. And he drops it. Of course he does. Why not? Oh, baby. All right, we are down 31-21 as we head into the fourth quarter. Get your fours up in the chat, boys. Do we have what it takes to come back and win it? Here in the Sunflower Showdown. Unreal. We need a takeaway on defense. That's that's really the only thing we can do here. Because, you know, the offense, I don't know what's going on. But we can't catch the ball. Uh, you know, we can't pitch the ball. We can't block. We do not know how to football anymore. Get him. This man's wide open. All right, there we go. Come on, man. You got to get there. What are we doing? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm trying, Eric. I really am, buddy. It's it's just not happening. Today is not our day. 
I mean, look at this. They're just wide open. It doesn't matter what coverage I'm picking. That was zone coverage. Nobody was in the zone. John Perez in the chat. What up, brother? That's right, Colin Klein. He's tearing us up right now. I think he's got two, maybe three incomplete passes in the game. I mean, look at it. He's just out here throwing darts. They have 20 first downs. We have five. We've barely been on offense this game, to be honest. Just have no answer for their offense. We have no answer for our own offense. Yeah, I just got clipped. They didn't call that either. It takes a Klein to beat a Klein. <laughs> From one Optimus Klein to another. Yeah, we have like we have zero yards of offense the past uh, almost. Like, yeah, two full quarters basically. Look at that, easy. Dang. Just taking us to town. All right, we still got time left, but we got to make it happen real quick, boys. Come on, let's block this. Keep it a two-score game. Let's go! We did block it. It's still a two-score game. We got this. Beautiful. Holden Tharp, he's got eight tackles and a blocked extra point today. Beautiful. All right, kick return touchdown right here. Never mind. All right, offense, please. <laughs> I'm begging. Come on, baby. I mean, just, just a touchdown. It's not too much to ask for. I mean, I didn't think it was. All right, Eric, take it easy, buddy. How does he hit the quarterback and not the fullback right there? Somebody explain that to me. I need answers. I need them now. And I'm not going to change our offense though, you know. I'm just going to I'm going to keep trying what we've been doing. There we go. Run Rel. Get that block. Rel Lewis down the left sideline and he's going to go. He's having a hell of a game and he gets us back into it. Let's go. Touchdown Kansas. Rock Chalk Jayhawk, baby. Man, we've been needing that. It's been gone since three minutes left in the second quarter. Beautiful. All right, we need the two points, though. Seventy-nine yard touchdown for Lewis. That's I think that's the second seventy-nine yard touchdown run of the game. Come on, boys. I'm gonna try to throw it. Come on, just snap it. And I got no blocking whatsoever. All right, so t still a two-score game. Oh, that's ridiculous. So unfortunate, guys. Well, let's force a fumble here. Nope. I don't know what to do on defense. Go, let's go nickel 335, I guess. We'll try that out. Nothing else has worked so far. This has to be an option. 
Wide open and out of bounds. All right, so they're gonna lose yards and the clock is stopped. What is this blocking USMC? Apparently on that two point conversion, yes. Our right tackle on this team, worst lineman on the entire channel. I don't think anyone can change my mind. Let's go, nice tackle. If we can get a quick three and out here, that would be phenomenal. Let's go third and 12. Got a quarterback spy. He's not taken off, right? Right? We'll see. See what happens here. They're going to waste as much time as they can. they get the first down here, game might be over, to be honest. They'll be able to run a lot of the clock down. Get him, boys. Oh, thank goodness he tackled him. Wow. All right. Punt return touchdown from, oh, my goodness, Tyler Hunt. Our halfback is back there to return this punt for the first time ever since Sims is injured. I'm going to save our timeouts. Um, hopefully, we're not going to use them at all on this drive. Um, I'm going to save them for when we're on defense. Come on, boys. Block for me. Come on. Punt it right. Okay. Let's go. Dang it. All right, we got to go 85 yards in one play. Let's go. Let's get it right now. We're doing it. 2.03 left in the game. We're down 10. Do we have what it takes? Well, we'll find out here in a second. Tyler Hunt. He might go. Does he have the speed? It looks like he's pulling away. Tyler Hunt is going to get us within a score. Touchdown. Jayhawks, what a run. An 85-yarder, he breaks teammate Rel Lewis's record for longest run of all time. And he's got 99 yards in the game. He had seven carries for 15 yards before that run. Good grief. All right, now we just kick the extra point. 152 left, and let's see, they still have a little more momentum than us. We will not go quietly into the nights. 37-34 is the score, and we are going to kick this deep. I don't want to do an onside kick. We got three timeouts left, so. Stick around after this game, guys. We're going to be taking on Baylor and Robert Griffin the third. Good old RG3. See if we can't beat them in our rematch from last season, where they, they kind of stomped us, if we're being honest. Nice tackle. Let's go. All right, we're going back to the 3-3-5 uh, because, well, it, it worked. So, Come on. Let's go, defense. I'm playing center field. Let's go. Let's get it. And I got the tackle. I'm not going to call the timeout yet because... It's second and two. They might get this first down, to be honest. They're going to run the clock down to around 105 left. This is going to be tough. Fully expect them to run the ball, of course. I'm going to blitz. It's going to be a risky play, but we're going to do it anyway. Get him. Dang it. All right, we'll call a timeout now. we got two left. If they get another first down, though, the game is over. 
But if we can get the stop, um, we'll have about, what, uh, 20 seconds left maybe in the game. Red Lewis, three carries, almost 200 yards, three touchdowns today. That's insane. Pull back, get him. Time out. I'm going to switch to the 5 2. Get some bigger guys on the field here. Counter. Let's go. Good tackle. Anthony Davis is injured on the play. Fantastic. Just what we need. Another injury, right? All right, they're down to four for the game. Up the middle, and they get the first down. Kansas State is going to get the upset win here today, 37-34. to 34. And, I mean, hats off to them. They deserve the win. Uh, they just outperformed us. Our offense was very hit or miss. We went pretty much two full quarters without doing a darn thing. And we could not stop Colin Klein in this offense. It was so tough. We were getting pressure on the quarterback, but, I mean, he was breaking sack attempts, you know, throwing off his back foot, crazy passes downfield that were completed. I mean, he carved up this secondary. So, just a really good win for K-State. And that's going to get their season back on track. That's their second win of the year. And it's our first loss of the season as well. And that will do it from Manhattan, Kansas in the Sunflower Showdown. We are 0-2. 0-2. Versus K-State. We just can't beat them. Alex Acosta in the chat. What up, Alex? Kelvin Klein. Oh, it's uh, Colin Klein, Alex. <laughs> All right. Take a look at the stats. I mean, we had... Uh, that's the number two greatest game of all time. It would have been number one if we actually were able to secure the dub. But zero, 0 for 4 passing. Man, a lot of drops. I think there were, what, two? Maybe three drops. We only had seven first downs. We literally had the ball for 26 plays of offense. They had it for 63. Uh, they controlled the day. They really did. There was nothing we could do about it at all. Both teams with two turnovers. They had the ball for nearly 17 minutes. I mean, that's definitely one way to beat us. Look at Colin Klein. 24 of 30. 279 yards. Three touchdowns, no picks. We got him. Uh, we sacked him three times. Their running back did really well. 124 yards on a touchdown. Klein had a touchdown run. Both had eight broken tackles. Brah. Aaron Jackson did great receiving. Uh, great day for Kale Pick. Loved it. I mean, he did good on the ground. Receiving. They only counted the one drop. And I'm pretty sure at least four of the incomplete passes uh, out of the four, three of them were drops. I'm pretty sure. All right, defense. Lubbock Smith. We were on defense the whole game. It was insane. Smith with nine tackles. Tharp has eight. Murphy and Fee with seven tackles apiece. Luke had five. Man. Six tackles for loss for the defense. Three sacks, all by different players. No picks. A uh, bunch of deflections here. Force fumbles. Lavelle Luke and Lubbock Smith. Recoveries for Taylor Lee and Lubbock Smith. Uh, the block was Holden Tharp, the junior outside linebacker.
And that's it. We take our first L of the year. Man, if we had just completed two of those passes, I think we win that game. All right. Who we got next? We got the Baylor Bears. I think we're... Are we in their stadium? No, we should be the home team this time, I believe. So we're going to take on Baylor. And then we're going to take on Colorado. Yeah, Kansas is definitely a basketball blue blood that does not play great in football. That's for sure. All right, we are going to be taking on the Baylor Bears. They are 4-2 and two on the season, so not too bad. We are now 4-1. and one. We dropped all the way down to 24th after losing that game to K-State. Man, we're 4-1. and one. This is in our stadium. RG3 and the boys with the 54th rated offense. Their defense is rated 80th. Our defense went from, I believe, 17th all the way to 37th because of that game against Kansas State. Uh, we have the dead last passing offense now with zero passing yards in that game, but still the number one rushing attack. And that equals out to the 75th offense in the land. So definitely a lot of room to improve for us. Uh, let's go ahead and take a gander at the recruiting real quick. Let's see what we got going on. All right, all of our guys are what we have left. Let's get an official visit for Justin Taylor. It's going to be this week. The pitch activities. Uh, I guess we could do program prestige. We are four star, correct? We'll do playing time. And then we'll do... Uh, coaching style, I guess? Yeah, sure. Sounds lovely. Official visit for the wide receiver. I do believe we forgot to do the the pitches for the linebacker when we went and uh, played Missouri. So that's my bad. Program prestige. Uh, playing time. Alright, we'll do that, I guess. Soft verbal from the free safety. I don't even think he's... Yeah, he never visited. I don't think he did. And he is visiting Texas Tech. So let's get him to visit when we play Nebraska. Hopefully we're still... Uh, hopefully he doesn't commit to Texas Tech before then. Official visit for David Ross. He is from Texas. All right, and the tight end. What do we got here? We're number one for him. Whoops. There we go. Program prestige. Playing time. Uh, I don't know. What else? Uh, location. Sure. No, he's from. He is from California. Location is not the thing. Sure, we'll do coach. Nah, we'll do. Uh, let's see. Campus. Yeah. All right. That's it for recruiting. Go ahead and save it. And then we'll get into our game against the Baylor Bears. Should be a fun one. Hopefully uh, we can slow down RG3 this time. Because last season, he carved us up something fierce. Yeah, I agree, Alex. I agree. I like building up the, you know, the basketball powers in, in football games or the football powers in basketball games. You know, it's fun. It's good times. Eventually, we'll probably end up doing a dynasty with an already good team, though. Uh, just to, like, switch it up a little bit, you know, see what we can do. 
I do want to do a Miami Hurricanes dynasty in NCAA 04. I think that would be so much fun. My favorite game, my favorite team. Why not? All right, here we go. Baylor traveling to Lawrence, Kansas to take on the 24th ranked Kansas Jayhawks. We just lost to K-State. If you did not see that game, go back and take a gander. It was a good one. Miami crushes Florida State. Love to see it. Boise State back on track. They hung up 56 points on Nevada, I believe. Nebraska rebounds after the loss to Missouri. And Missouri just beat uh, number five. Who was that? Who in tarnation was that? Wow, they beat Oklahoma. Oklahoma Sooners just beat Texas, and now they've lost to Missouri. So, Mizzou having a great season. Six and one. Texas rebounded against Iowa State. No surprise there. K-State wins again. That offense, man, they're looking good. Tom Klein is on fire. Over 360 yards passing, three touchdowns. He ran for 96 yards. That guy is insanely good. Uh, Texas A&M beats undefeated Texas Tech. They were both 4-0 going into the game. A&M having a great season. Big 12 is going to be tough this year, man. I don't know. I don't know about it. Whoops. That, whoa, whoa, whoa. Almost switched the defense on accident. All right, let's go. RG3 over 1,200 passing yards. Stevens with six touchdowns. And the tight end with over 450 yards receiving. Luckily for us, though, no more suspensions this week, so that's good. And we will be taking on Colorado after this game, guys, so don't go anywhere. Really surprising that Baylor's 62nd with four wins. Talk to me, Brad. Kirk and Lee. Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler here with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit bringing you today's exciting matchup. Tonight's game will see some rain to go along with the cold. So let's get set for the Baylor Bears and the Kansas Jayhawks. We're about halfway through the season, and these two Big 12 teams are ready to get it on. Here come the Jayhawks. The Bears are going to have a rough time on the field in this game. I want to hear what Kirk Herbstreit thinks. Kansas comes into this football game led by their quarterback, and he's such a leader, Brad. Believe me, he won't buy into any of this pregame. We're going to blow him out, Hoopla. He's a focused competitor, and he'll be ready to play. Kirk, I'm going to have to agree with you right here. No, I'm picking Kansas. All right. I love how they keep highlighting the quarterback like he's going to win us games or something. Oh, 64th, Jay. My bad. My bad, dog. My bad. That's even worse. Like, how how are they ranked 64th when they have four wins? They're the same exact record as Oklahoma. You know, let's get the ball first. Why not? Yoshi, dude, what's going on, brother? Thank you, sir. I'll need it. RG3 is going to be tough to stop. Let me go ahead and uh, turn the old guys off real quick. And get into this game. It's uh, a bit rainy. Expect some people to fall over. I like the all-white unis for Baylor. Terzilli. Millie Vanilli. Up past the 30. Let's go. Paxton in the chat. What up, Paxton? I think it's the first time I've seen you in the chat. Welcome, welcome. Can't believe K-State beat us. I know, man. That was a tough game. We had no answer for Colin Klein. Of course, they beat us last season without him, too. So, maybe they just uh, they just have our number, you know? Let's go. Come on, Tyler. Dang. They are swarming the running back. So, all right, we're going to get the ground game working early. Try to, at least. Yeah. 
Also, I didn't really, like, expect a, a dream season here in year two of this dynasty anyway, so... Uh, it was really exciting that we were, you know, all the way up in, what were we, ranked 12th? But I wasn't expecting that going into this year. But it was kind of cool that we got all the way up there into the top 15 like that. They're down to 9. Oh my goodness, why did you not pitch it? Oh man, alright. Heck with that, we're going for it. Boo me all you want. We're doing it. That's a first down. Let's go. That was risky. But it pays off. Five-yard carry for Tyler Hunt. Colorado State's number five? I didn't even notice that. That is actually crazy. Oh, he didn't pitch it. No, and then he fumbles? Woo! Thank you, Ty. Oh, man. Kale Pick injured on the play. Webb coming in. I'm not sure that if, if he's really built for this offense, to be honest. Let's take a look here. 76 speed. We could put Bashir's in there. You know what? We're going to have to take him off of receiver. I mean, Bashir's can throw the football, too. Let's let's not get it twisted here, boys. He's got an 84 overall at quarterback with 89 speed. So, whoops. All right, DJ Bashir's 5'8", 176-pound wide receiver is going to be playing quarterback uh, while... Pick is out with an injury. Let's see how it goes. USC lost to Oregon State. Oof. Feels bad. Bashirs. Oh, he might go. DJ Bashirs, his first carry as a quarterback, and he's gone. Touchdown, Jayhawks. Let's go. That is how you announce yourself to the offense. Oh, that was glorious. Look at how small he is. Oh, my goodness. 57-yard run for the receiver. Man, if he wasn't so small, uh, he definitely would have been the starting quarterback, most likely. But 5'8"? That's tough. The kicker is about four inches taller than him. Extra point up and good, and it's seven. It's a nada. Great drive to start off the game. We needed that after losing to K State. Harrison boots it. Uh oh. There we go. Fee. Oh, man. Good tackle. Almost forced the fumble. That is a clean green helmet. I like that. All right, defense, I need you to not perform the way you just did against Kansas State. All right? Do the opposite of that. Robert Griffin III in the shotgun. They're going to hand it off. First play, Marshall picks up five yards. Another quarterback where we're going to have to do a spy. And Kale Pick just the, gets the wind knocked out of him. But they gave the opportunity to uh, Bashirs come in and get a 57-yard touchdown run. Here we go. Good tackle by Tharp. And it's third down and five. All right. Come on, crowd. We need you. We didn't have you last game, and, well, it sucked. Get that out of here. Thank you. Davis, me, with the user deflection. Let's go. All right, fourth down and five. 
I think uh, Terzilli is back to return. Oh my. No, it's Hunt. Oh my goodness. What just happened? Oh? I don't know what just happened there, but I guess I'll take the free yards. Alright, we get it at the 37 to start off. Bashir's throwing deep. He's got a man. Touchdown. Oh, my goodness. Did we just find a gem in DJ Bashir's at quarterback? What the heck is going on here? Two plays at quarterback, two touchdowns. And what a catch from Trent Smiley, the sophomore tight end. Bashir's has 94 yards of offense and two touchdowns on two plays. Beautiful. Francis, extra point, up and good. It's 14 to 0. What in tarnation's going on here? All right, let's keep it up, boys. I can't believe that throw actually worked. Uh-oh, this could be bad. Get him! All right, 314 left in the first quarter. Let's go defense. Play action. That was a good route. I thought he was going to the inside. First down, Bears. Definitely fooled me on that. Crowd going wild. Of course, I am covering the number one receiver, so. Dang it. Another good catch. This time it's Causey. First down, Eric Tavares back in the chat. What up, Eric? Oh, here we go. RG3 taking off. He's going to get five yards on the quarterback power. Second down from the 32-yard line of Kansas. And Elliott is going to go out of bounds and lose a few yards. Lavelle Luke, the freshman middle linebacker, with a nice play. Loss of four. Brings up third and ten. Now let's get some pressure on RG3. Johnson, we need a sack here, buddy. Come on. Get it done. In the wise words of Shia LaBeouf, just do it. Let's go. We get to stop. But let's see if they're going to kick a field goal. They're going to punt it away from the 34. We're going to go with a safe return in case anything crazy happens here, like a fake punt pass. And they're just going to punt it. Lubbock Smith, fair catch at the 15-yard line. And Kale Pick is back in the game at quarterback. You know what we're going to do, guys? I think uh, we're just going to let Bashirs play the game at quarterback. Let's be honest. Uh, he's been going crazy. Two plays, two touchdowns. Why not? Why not feed the hot hand, you know? Let's see what the young fellas got for a whole game, pretty much. Nice pitch. Uh, oh my goodness, Tyler Hunt. Can he win the foot race? He will. Three plays with Bashir's at quarterback. Three touchdowns. He pitches it out to Tyler Hunt. He runs upfield. 
He blocks the safety and springs the halfback free for the score. Let's go. We didn't even have to pitch that either. Got just enough of that DB. And Hunt is just, he's too good. Wide receiver is the quarterback, Tom. Yes, sir. Our starter went down. Uh, he got the wind knocked out of himself. So we put Bashirs in because he's got 89 speed. And he's an actually, he's an 84 overall at quarterback. He's got good throwing power, throwing accuracy. He threw a touchdown. He ran for one. Now he's out there blocking as the quarterback on a big touchdown run. Dude's going crazy. Also, how are you, Tom? What's up, buddy? Also, uh, Tom, when the EFL comes back, uh, we need you in Kansas, buddy. All right? Kansas Comets! I know you've, uh, you know, been MIA from the Discord, but... I'll need you back, my friend. You and Noah. Where was this against KSU, Eric? I don't know, man. We Our offense just died in that game. And our defense... Uh, I mean, we couldn't stop anything. Alright, second down and seven. One of the NFL games you went to, a wide receiver played as quarterback for the Browns. I mean, that's not surprising. The Browns are just in shambles. I love it. Nice play. Oh, my goodness. Really good route for Edwards. Oh, the EFL will come back, Tom. Yes. It's not dead. I just need a computer that is capable of letting me put my graphics and everything in OBS. The one that I have now is not capable of that. Like mid-game and all that fun stuff. Force fumble! The user force fumble! Lubbock Smith recovers! Let's go! Yeah, the, the FCS Dynasty will come back and EFL, but um, we started up Season 1 of the EFL. I think we did, well, Week 1. And then life happened for me, and uh, yeah, my computer ended up dying, and you know the story. You know. Yeah, it will all come back for sure. I just, like I said, I need a, a laptop or something that allows me to actually use OBS properly. Finally, a play for Bashirs that is not a touchdown. Crazy, I know. Second down and 15. That's right, that's right, Marvin. I got to upgrade from the potato PC. You are correct, my guy. Wow, good block, guys. They sent a three-man... Oh, my goodness. There was only three guys. What are we doing here? Bashir's balling out, and you guys are just like, you know what? Uh, we don't want him to be great anymore. Here we go. Third down and long. Oh my goodness, McDougald! It, it was in your hands! Brother! Wow, Northwestern is 7-0 on the year. Look at this ball. It goes right through his hands. This is why we haven't really uh, thrown the ball a whole lot this season. That is 100% on the wide receiver. Not the one playing quarterback, but the one that was actually supposed to catch the ball there. Nice tackle. That is going to end the first quarter. We are cruising right now. 21 nothing. here in Lawrence, Kansas. Could probably switch to using an emulator. I could, maybe. But I, I do love my, my actual PS2. I don't know if I ever will switch to an emulator, to be honest. We'll see. Maybe for certain games. 
Get out of here. All right, third down and one. Coming up. Let's get a sack. I like how I talk about the EFL and then Tom just disappears. And we got no way. There is no way he got that first down. Are you kidding me? Oh, come on. That's tough. Nice deflection for Lavelle Luke, and there's holding. Back him up, boys. Back him up. Let's go. First down, 20. Oh my goodness, what a hit from Lubbock Smith, the free safety. Just out here knocking heads off. And it's second down and 20 now because of that play. You got the best looking team in the league? You sure do. I love the Kansas uniforms in the EFL. They are beautiful. I like all the uniforms, honestly. I put a lot of uh, time and effort into that entire league. For everything, you know, uniforms, team nicknames, everything like that. It took me about 40 hours, I think, to make everything. RD3 is taking off. Get him. Good stop. Let's go. Good team tackle. Yeah, Tom, we got to get Noah back on here as well, man. I think I last time I talked to him, it was in May. That's when he gave me your number. This punter is atrocious. All right, offense. Let's uh, get back to it, shall we? It's so crazy. We run the option attack offense, but, you know, it's not a ground and pound offense. It's, you know, fireworks. That's the offense. Big plays. Oh, my goodness. The stiff arm. And he tries another. Picks up seven. And he broke that man with the stiff arm. Let's go. He's busted on the field. Somebody get him a gurney. There you go, Tyler Hunt. No way he fumbled. He is on the ground. He is taking a nap. I am going to challenge that. I can't even see if he fumbles us or not. I don't think so. Yeah, he's on the ground, guys. Thank you. Give me the ball back. All right, first and ten now. Get the ball. And he somehow recovers. Man, he looked like, I don't even know, a blind squirrel looking for a nut right there. Tyler Hunt was just lost in the sauce on that play. Sherman out for two quarters with a pinched nerve because of that stiff arm from, from Hunt. Oh, what a tackle. Oof. That was nasty. All right, third down and two. And a 
first down. Let's go. You can get a job, Mungo. You just got to believe in yourself, buddy. Oh, that was a good play. Man. All right, loss of two for Bashirs. Good blocking. And a good catch for Jenkins. Okay, let's go. Moving the chains. Penn State beats number four, Iowa. I'm dead here. I'm dead 100%. And Jenkins! That is a t that's not a touchdown? Bruh. Oh my goodness. I thought for sure that was a touchdown. What a throw and catch, though. Oh, man. That is so close to being a touchdown. We're going to give it to the fullback. He has uh, no touchdowns at all in his career. And he still doesn't have one. Man, I could not move past my own line right there on that play. That was awful. We're trying it again. Come on, fullback. Let's go, baby. Fullback sneak. We're trying, Marvin. We're trying, buddy. And we got him in that time. Foster for the score. And we are up by four tutties. Oh, yeah. It's kind of crazy that that's our fullback's first touchdown of his career. We don't really have too many uh, first and goals from the, the one-yard line in this game. Most of our touchdowns are big runs down the sideline. An extra point from France is up and good. It's 28-0 here in Lawrence, Kansas. And Trent Smiley, our tight end, is injured on the play. What in tarnation happened, my guy? He got blowed up. Harrison kicks it deep. Let's go. I missed. Uh-oh. Good return from Edwards. He fumbles, and it's recovered by Murphy. Let's go. Let's pour it on, baby. Also, Tom, did you uh, check out the podcast yet, buddy? It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. All right, 221 left. I'm dead here. I'm dead, 100%. Just had to throw away. <laughs> oh, my goodness. The pressure was instantaneous. I know, I'm just throwing out big words right now. It's crazy. All right, second down and 10. Let's go halfback option with Lewis and Hunt. And Hunt's going to lose a couple yards. Rel Lewis got just obliterated in the backfield. All right, third down and 12 now. We are a one for three on third down tries in this ballgame. Oh, sweet lordy. I don't know how I got rid of that pass, and it's dropped by Tyler Hunt. Man, Bashirs is just playing so great right now, but people are just not making the plays the past couple times. All right, 4th and 12 from the 36. I'm not punting it from there. Are you kidding me? Not kicking a field goal either. That's 53 yarder. No shot. With a freshman kicker. Not going to happen. 
He's wide open. And he drops it. Bruh. Wow, yeah, 98. You did a lot of work on that play, buddy. Go ahead and celebrate. We're putting the ball in the perfect spot to make the plays. We're just not making the plays for the quarterback right now. And I do not approve. And there's a drop pass for Baylor. Good to see that they can't catch either. That's fine. Hopefully we can perform like this against Colorado as well. In our uh, next game. RG3 should have been sacked. Evades the pressure and gets three yards. Third down and seven with 130 remaining in the first half. Bears coming out. Five wide receivers set. And RG3 is going to take off. And he's going to get the first down. Dives for it. And avoids the hit from Lavelle Luke. Get him, boys. Nice. Oh, my goodness. What a hit from Holden Tharp. And RG3 has injured his leg on the play. And Baylor already has an injury to their backup quarterback. So they are going to be on their third string quarterback for, I don't know, probably at least the rest of this drive. And let's see who it is. Number 11. Smith. And they'll get uh, six yards. So third and four coming up. We're going to go co cover to Max. Let's go defense. RG3 back. He only missed one play. Nice play. That's a touchdown. Oh, nice tackle, Murphy. Oh, my goodness. I thought Edwards was going to pull away. He almost hurdled him, too. All right, first and goal from the five. Seven yards receiving for Edwards on three receptions in the ballgame. And it's going to be second and goal coming up. Gain of one for Marshall. Go defense. Toss it out and get him. He almost drags his way into the end zone. He picks up three yards. Third and goal from the one. Oh boy, this, this is going to be tough. And he was wide open, but we got instant pressure. And RG3 is injured again. This time it's his elbow. Never saw an injured player, only missed one play. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever seen that either, uh, Marvin. And great goal line stand for the defense. Let's see if we can't block this field goal try. Tharp, I need you to get in there and block it. Oh, he did! Our first ever blocked field goal on the channel. It's here. We've done it. The goal line stand results in us still having a shutout. Let's go, baby. Special teams, I love you. Baylor is just uh, having a rough time. RG3, elbow bursitis. He will return to the game. Eight hundred and seven rushing yards on the year for Hunt. Nine touchdowns. Oh, 
Okay. And Hunt somehow gets a yard out of that. And we're just going to let the clock run down and get us into the locker room. We are on top 28-0 to zero over Baylor. The defense stepping it up. Bashir's in at quarterback is just going crazy right now. And special teams with a blocked field goal. Love to see it. See if we can continue the success in the second half here from Lawrence, Kansas in Big 12 action. Yeah, that block kick on your channel, Marvin, I remember that. That was, uh, that was a bit rough, buddy. <laughs> Luckily, ours did not have the same result. Oh, I just got crushed. All right, defense. Let's keep it going. Let's go, Davis, with the pick. The user interception. Let's go. I read him like a book, baby. Get baited, son. That was too easy. All right, let's see what we can do here. Uh, first down. From the 20. We're throwing it. Smiley with another catch down to the one-yard line. Let's go. First and go. Bashir's going crazy, man. I love it. Pullback dive from the power T. Man, this season's been pretty rough for the red zone. Uh, last season we were perfect. And Foster, the fullback, gets a second touchdown of the game. Let's go. 34 to 0. Imagine if we actually get a good fullback on the team. Or do we have? Did we recruit one in the off season? I just redshirted him. I can't remember. I think we recruited a faster one. I do not recall. My brain, much like my computer and other technology, is a potato. Extra point up and good. Thirty-five to zip. Cruising. Come on, Fee. Let's go. Good tackle. And our kicker, well, our technically our punter, has been injured on the play. You really do hate to see that. That is so unfortunate. It's got the stronger leg of the two kickers on the roster. Davis with a nice tackle. Elliott gets uh, two yards on the reception. And RG3, look out. He's dangerous on the run. And I get him. Oh, my goodness. He is so good in open field. But, I mean, right there, we got three guys around him. Two guys missed. We got to make that tackle. I should not be saving a touchdown with the corner. And that's picked off. It's Fee. Let's go. That was set up by the deflection from Davis. All right, Tom, take it easy, brother. Appreciate you stopping by. Always good to see you, my guy. Man, 
And we got a good hit on him as well. That was deflected up in the air twice. Once from Davis, once from Tharp. Before Fee finally collects the fee, if you know what I'm saying. I'll show myself out. That's fine. All right, first and 10 from the 35-yard line. And we died. They got instant pressure. That was tough. I don't, I don't want to see that again. My quarterback, well, my receiver, playing quarterback, got absolutely just, he, he's just dead. Straight, uh, straight bicep for Billy Harrison, the punter. Luckily, he'll return. RG3 just got crushed again. We're all over him in this game. Just not getting a whole lot of uh, sacks on him, though. There we go. Pressure again. And I get another deflection with Davis. Man, these quarterbacks... Breaking the sack attempts is just, it's hurting my soul right now. Baylor 3 for 7 on third down. It's uh, 4 yards to go on this one from the Kansas 28-yard line. They're going to hand it off, and that's first down. Davis, another tackle for the corner. Get him, boys. Oh, what a hit. Oh, my goodness. Johnson with the hit stick. RG3 picks up seven on the ground. Direct snap. Miles Dawkins calling plays for Baylor. And they'll get it to first and goal. They've been in this position before. And we stopped them and blocked a field goal. Let's go defense. There we go. Holden Tharp gets the sack. And RG3 for the third time today is on the turf. Holding his chest this time. My goodness. Tyler Rocky in the chat. What up, Tyler? What's going on, buddy? Smith back in at quarterback for Baylor. Second and goal from the 10. And another deflection for Davis. We're all over these passes. And Holden Tharp got a huge hit on the quarterback again. Good grief. Third and goal. Ten yards to go. Smith still in a quarterback. And we're going to send the house again. And it's picked off. He threw it right to Davis. And Davis, oh my goodness, what a tackle by the running back at the 11-yard line. And we get another goal line stand. Let's go. You do love to see it. I mean, he threw it right to me. Davis with his second INT of the game. Yep, RG3 used to be in the NFL. Yes, sir. Last played for the Ravens, I believe. And the backup tight end, Beer, with the reception. 14-yard pickup. From the 26-yard line. 
And Bashir's breaking tackles. He's going to get another first down. Maybe 15, 16 yards rushing. Yeah, that playoff game. I mean, Shanahan killed RG3's career. He really did. Pitch it out. Oh, that could have been a big play. Bashir's just couldn't get the pitch out, though. Loss of two. Yeah, RG3, man, he was going to be so special in the NFL, too, until that injury. It makes me so sad, to be honest. And a nice tackle by the corner. First down, Bashir's though. Up to 87 rushing yards in the game. And we're going to hand it off here because uh, he, he's tired. He's just a little old receiver. He's not used to running the ball this much. He's also throwing the ball quite nicely. Nice spin move. Hunt breaks a tackle. Gets two, maybe three yards. And Kale Pick is actually back in the game at quarterback on this play. And Tyler Hunt jukes to the outside. Can he win the foot race? Has to stiff arm a man. Still going inside the 15-yard line. First down. Let's go. Man, he has one of the most vicious stiff arms that I have ever seen out of a college running back. Man, he's tired now. Get him off the field. Just for a play. At least. Kale Pick is in for six. Touchdown, Kansas. And we're up by six touchdowns, boys. Just taking it to him today. And look at the blocking. Where has this been all season? I mean, the pass blocking has just been non-existent. Baylor, uh, they're, they're just in shambles right now. Did Bashirs get hurt and I just didn't see it or what? What's going on here? Extra point up and good. 42-0 to zero with 103 left in the third quarter. Seven plays, 88-yard drive. Took two minutes off the clock. And Kale Pick is in to kick off. What? And he gets it all the way to the one. You gotta be kidding me. And he gets the tackle. <laughs> What's going on right now? That was outrageous. If you haven't already, please don't forget to slap the like button, guys. Subscribe if you're new. And join the Discord community. There's a link in the description below. Look forward to seeing you in there. And that is a severe overthrow from Smith. RG3 still has not returned to the game. That does not bode well for Baylor. Oh my goodness, how in the world was that pass caught? I mean, Baylor does have 10 first downs in the game. They're not doing too bad in that regard. But they just can't get it done in the red zone. And that pass is nearly picked off again. Kurt Smith, 2 of 7, 24 yards, and an INT.
Nice run. Marshall gets five yards. Third and five coming up. And they hand it off, and Johnson makes them pay. Huge hit in the backfield. Loss of three. And that is going to end the third quarter. Get your fours up in the chat, boys. We're on top. 42 to zero over our our conference foe, the Baylor Bears. They're actually 4 2 on the year. They're not a bad team. Uh, we definitely just had their number from the very start of this game. Game ball to DJ Bashir's the wide receiver. Uh, coming in, throwing a touchdown, running for one. Uh, just a really good performance from him. And Bashir's is back in the game. So that's some good news there. Platinum Bean in the chat. What up, Platinum Bean? Bashir's taking off. Oh, he, oh my goodness. Every hit on this guy is a big hit. It's because he's so small. But that gets him to 100 rushing yards for the day. I hope we play like this in our next game that we got coming up against Colorado. I'm looking forward to that one. I don't think we've... Uh, we might have played Colorado once on the channel before. Nice tackle by the safety. Yeah, we may have played Colorado in... I want to say Mississippi State Dynasty. I think. In a bowl game. In like season one or two. I could be completely wrong. And a good run from Bashir is actually breaking a tackle, running a man right over. 229 total yards for the receiver turned quarterback for the day. Third down and two. And Bashir's, uh, he didn't want to throw it. Instead, broke a tackle and got taken down at the line of scrimmage. I think they counted that as a sack. And we are going to go for it. We only need two yards. We're not in field goal range, so why not? Let's see if we can draw them off sides. Come on, hard count. Get him. Come on, baby. We did it in the last stream against, uh, who was it, Missouri? Bashirs. Pitch it. Pitch it. Why? I'm, I'm hitting the button. Dang it all the heck, man. I tell you what. Oh, well. That is unfortunate. And we never did find out what happened to RG3. Um, he's not in the game, so hopefully it's nothing serious for Baylor. And it's picked off! Holden Tharp! Another deflection from Davis. Results in another takeaway for the defense. Man, we are performing so well on defense in this game. It's the, the complete opposite of what happened against Kansas State. We couldn't stop them at all. Kurt Smith, 2 for 8, 24 yards, and now 2 interceptions. And Bashirs pitches it out. Rel Lewis down the left sideline. He's gone. Touchdown. Jayhawks. Rock Chalk. Jayhawk, baby. Let's go. 
Making it look at, uh, pretty easy out there, you know? I think that's Lewis's first touchdown of the game, I think. Had a really big game against um, Kansas State, but doesn't matter because we lost it. Extra point up and good. It's forty nine to zero. Alex Couture and South Florida man in the chat. What's going on, fellas? Little T formation, yes sir. Good bounce back game, absolutely. We needed this after that K State game. We could not afford to lose two in a row. We would have dropped way out of the rankings if we did. And a nice tackle by number. 50. I'm not sure who that was. Might have been Kent. Johnny Kent. Either with 45 plays of offense. Nothing to show for it. They're on their third string quarterback, Kurt Smith. And he's, he's just having a rough day. And it just got even worse. Johnson has the pick. And he stiff arms him. Johnson! Gets the pick six. Touchdown, Jayhawks. Let's go, boys. Eight takeaways for the defense. We are in fuego. On fire. Johnson, the sack machine. I think that's his second pick of the year now. And returns it 38 yards for the score. And we put up a 50 burger. This has been a lot of fun. I'm hoping this can carry over against Colorado, which is coming up next, so stick around, boys. 56 zip. Come on, Fee. Another good tackle for. Kent, and we've got 338 left in the ball game. Play number 47 for Baylor coming up. And this time a good throw to Causey as he makes a man miss as well. Gets up past the 45-yard line. First down, Bears. I don't think we're going to see the return of RG3 today. And a false start by the left guard, number 63. Getting happy feet out there. Getting scared. I can't really blame them. Our defense has been killing them today. Johnson misses a tackle. And it's two missed tackles. Marshall moves the chains. Good run. And he's got 53 yards on the ground in the game. Counter. And Marshall just keeps fighting forward. Picks up maybe five more yards. And they gave him credit for four. All right, let's send the house. We're blitzing. Let's go. Let's put this quarterback on his back. And that should have been picked off. Oh, my goodness. Lubbock Smith, the free safety with a missed opportunity. Come on now, you gotta come away with that pick. He might have scored. 56 nothing, and the crowd is still getting into the 90s for decibel range here. And oh my goodness, the hit on the quarterback. They better be careful or they're gonna be on their fourth string guy. That was Johnson with the hit. And that was nearly picked off on the ground by, uh, who was that? 
I don't even know who that was. And they're going to go for it. Why not? Down by a million points. With 223 left in the game. What do they have to lose? He's wide open and they missed the pass. Oh my goodness. It's been a game of missed opportunities today for Baylor. Oh, what a juke. Oh, another one. Tyler Hunt picking up 12 yards on a first down. Let's go. 328 rushing yards for KU. Let's go halfback power out of the wishbone. And Hunt making another man fall on his face, picking up seven more yards. He's got 181 in the game. And he is tired now. Get him off the field for a second. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this stream so far. Go Bashirs, we need three yards from you. And he's gonna get it. They had good pressure too, but Bashir's just a really good athlete. Making a nice play. Davis, player of the game for Kansas. Five tackles, two interceptions, forced fumble, and, I mean, just a lot of deflections all over the field today. Smiley in the end zone, and it is overthrown. There's a flag. All right. Take that. Tyler Hunt picks up uh, another three-yard run. Bashirs pitches it out, and it's Rel Lewis. And he is in for another touchdown. We got the 60 burger. Stop, stop, they're already dead. The greatest sign in college football. Francis on for the extra point to make it 63 to 0. Kick is up and it is good. 29 seconds left. Seven plays, 61 yard drive, took 152 off the clock. Davis, another tackle for him. 24 seconds now. Right. 
And, oh my goodness, Kurt Smith took off and he paid the price. What a big hit from the linebacker. And nice deflection. Who was that? That looks like Johnson. And that bring up third down at five. And that is an overthrow. Fourth down coming up. Four seconds left. And Baylor will punt it away. 32nd punt in the career for Brown. Long of 53 for him. And that will do it. Pretty easy win here. 63-0. A uh, really good bounce back game for us. Uh, I'm not even really sure <laughs> what to say about Baylor. They had some opportunities, uh, especially in the first half. But our defense just stepped up. You know, our special teams, we blocked a field goal at the one-yard line. And that secured us a shutout. In ridiculous fashion. 63 nothing. So, really well-rounded performance uh, by everybody. 483 yards of offense. We had 20 first downs. 362 yards on the ground. We threw for 121. Only got sacked once. Not so good on uh, third down. Uh, we had two turnovers, but we had eight takeaways. Five interceptions. And the uh, two fumbles recovered. Plus, the blocked kick counts as a turnover as well. And the interception for Bashir's was just... That was all the receiver's fault. We had no penalties in the game. And we led time of possession by two minutes. Bashir's 5-10, 121 yards, touchdown, pick, long of 38. Tyler Hunt, 17 carries, 184 yards, touchdown. DJ Bashir's 14 carries, 112 yards, touchdown. Rel Lewis, 3 for 58, 2 touchdowns. Kale Pick, 3 carries, 18 yards, touchdown. Stephen Foster, 3 carries, 2 yards, 2 touchdowns. My goodness, everybody was scoring touchdowns today. Nine broken tackles for Hunt. He had a fumble. Bashir's had two. Lewis and Pick each had a fumble as well. Uh, lots of drops here. Touchdown for Trent Smiley. Defense, Anthony Davis, who I user, had six tackles. Two tackles for a loss for the defense. One sack, holding Tharp. Five interceptions, two for me with Davis, Johnson, Fee, and Tharp all had picks. So a bunch of linebackers out here just balling out. Johnson, of course, with the 38-yard pick six. I had eight pass deflections with Anthony Davis. Lovick Smith had two. Johnson, Murphy, and Tharp each had one. Forced fumbles for Eric McGriff, the retro sophomore receiver on special teams. And Anthony Davis, forced fumble. Murphy and Smith with recoveries. Block for Holden Tharp. Dude is just insanely good. And the defensive touchdown. No punts. And that is it for this game, guys. Let's simulate the week. Uh, we'll save it. And then we'll get into our third and final game of the night uh, as we take on the Colorado Buffaloes. Should be a fun one. I'm looking forward to that game. 63 0. We are one win away from bowl eligibility. You do love to see that. Got some tough teams coming up, though. Go ahead and save the game right now after this victory patch. Yes, sir. And we got a commitment from Carl James, the four-star free safety from Big Spring, Texas. That is actually a really big get. I'm pretty sure uh, Lovick Smith is a senior. So this guy, I mean, he's going to see the field pretty quickly, I believe. So really good commitment from him. 
He's got good discipline, average potential. That's fine. Uh, a plus field awareness runs a 4 4 40. Has almost a 38 inch vertical C plus hands. I expect big things from him. Let's go ahead and save it. Take a look around the nation. And then we will play Colorado in Boulder, Colorado. I will be back in a moment. folks welcome back we are going to be taking on Colorado in Boulder they are two and four on the season uh, having a rough skid lost three straight after starting two and one and yeah it's in big part to their defense 112th in the country they're allowing over 300 passing yards a game over 130 rushing yards per game uh, that's a bit rough hopefully our rushing attack can get it going against these fellas uh, they do like to throw the ball, 253 yards a game, so we'll keep an eye on that. But let's take a look around the nation. After we check out the recruiting, we did just get a commitment. We got Carl James, the uh, five foot ten, 191 pound free safety from Big Spring, Texas. So I do like that. Oh boy. This is not good. We might lose John Hall because we have to wait till week 10 for his visit. We have a soft verbal from Justin Taylor. That is huge. He's going to take all his visits to make sure he made the right call. All right, well, you're coming to Kansas, all right? That's just how that's how it's going to be. We get a soft verbal from Brian Williams. He wants to take his other visits to Oklahoma and TCU. Okay. Season record is making John's recruitment that much easier. John Hall, guard from Stafford, Texas. Um, okay. He's visiting week 10. That's the guy that we just lost to. Well, we didn't lose him yet, but Texas Tech jumped us because they just had their visit uh, with them. Colorado game will tell Jason where we stand as a big-time program. Jason Jackson. Outside linebacker, we're going to have him visit the week of Nebraska as well, which would be huge because Nebraska is currently in a three spot for him. We got a soft verbal from David Ross, the other outside linebacker. He said that he did indeed give us a soft verbal while on his visit. Let's go. We should get him easy. The other teams aren't even close to us. The tight end, soft verbal, still planning on taking his other visits. Okay, so we're in good shape with everybody here, uh, despite... Uh, falling down to number two on John Hall's list. We still have our visit with him. So we're going to put our points into him. Gives these guys some points as well. All right. That is it for uh, recruiting. Let's take a look at the top 25 and all that fun stuff. And then we'll get into our game. What did that say? The latest polls have little love for the 7-0 Cougars. Well, yeah, because they went 13-0 last season and got just blasted in the bowl game so no surprise they're not getting any respect it is they don't really deserve it to be honest uh, miami undefeated alabama usc boise state georgia still undefeated north carolina up to eight love to see that 
And Missouri up to 16. Their only loss is to us so far. And we are up to 23. Oregon, 7-0. and oh. Only ranked 22nd, guys. Okay. Texas A&M, 5-0. Oh. They're in the rankings now. And Michigan State, that's the top 25 right there. I'll tell you what, man. Heisman watch. See what we got going on here. Receiver from South Carolina. I'm, if I'm remembering correctly, that's Alshon Jeffrey, right? That's got to be. That's a big boy. Wide receiver from Wisconsin. Uh, Nebraska quarterback. 24 total touchdowns. Over 2,000 total yards. There's three receivers on here, which is outrageous to me. Quarterback for North Carolina. Okay. I see you. 23 touchdown passes. Okay. Go UNC. Conference standings. Let's see where we fall here. Big 12 North. We are currently third because we lost to K-State. If you didn't watch that game, go back and watch it. Uh, it, it was a hell of a game. K-State with a phenomenal performance from Colin, uh, Colin Klein, who's... I mean, his stats are kind of mediocre there, but he's been balling out the last few weeks, getting his team back into the swing of things. They were 1-3, and, and they've uh, won two straight. So, South is currently led by A&M. And we got a four-way tie for the North between Missouri, K-State, Kansas, and Nebraska. All right, SEC is top of the class. So we fall to second in the strongest conferences. That's fine. Let's turn the boys on. No, we don't need to save it. We already did that. And I do want to take a quick look at the report card, and we will get into our game. I can already see people hopping on Kansas' bandwagon. Great win, coach. Yes, sir. We're 2-2 two and two versus rivals. Of course, we have yet to beat K-State, unfortunately. Man, it's still going to be some tough team goals that we got to do, but... Man, we're going to give it our all, right? Got to do it. Alright. Let's go beat up some Buffalo. Play Boise State? Do we want to put... I mean, we could put them on the schedule. Um, I put TCU on the schedule this season. We beat them. So yeah, we might. Might see what we can do against the Broncos. USC 6-0. Miami lost to Georgia Tech. Man, what does that say about us? The fact that we beat Georgia Tech. Wow. Alright, let's get it, boys. Final game of the stream tonight. Hopefully we can get this win and become bowl eligible. Now, tomorrow night... We'll probably, let's see, we'll have, what, five regular season games left? I don't know how many we'll do tomorrow, but we'll definitely stream a bunch. We'll see what happens. I don't do game prep? Absolutely not. Don't need it. Who needs it, right? I just go out there and play, man. Six, that's beautiful weather. Look at that sky. Get ready, because we've got NCAA football action coming straight at you. And here come the Buffalo. We cannot afford to lose this one. The Jayhawks are the juggernaut in this game. Who should we be looking out for today, Kirk? Kansas has so many weapons offensively, but it all starts with their outstanding quarterback. Now against this defense, I look for him to have no problem spreading the ball around. This could be a career game. Hey, everybody's picking up. Okay, let's send it down to our head referee for today's game in the coin toss. Let's get it. Look at the 
wind. Goodness gracious. Man, they're going to kick with the wind to start. Interesting choice. That gives us the advantage. Shut up, Brad. That gives us the advantage in the uh, in the fourth quarter. So I'm not sure why they went that route, but... Can see but can't hear. <laughs> Alright, Hammer. Alright, we'll take that. Let's go defense. Oh boy, this is not a good start. Luckily, he had to hurdle right there. Jeez Louise. That was really good blocking on the left side. Lavelle Luke, the freshman, gets the tackle. I don't like that their numbers are like gray. What is that? And we get the sack on the quarterback. Holding Tharp. Getting through. And he's averaging two sacks a game? Good grief. Him and Johnson are going crazy. Second down and 17 after the sack. This man is wide open. Dang it. Hunter moves the chains for Colorado. And we could definitely not afford to lose this. Uh, Colorado is in the north, so it would really stink if we lost to these guys today. Yeah, not a good throw from the quarterback. Second down and 10 coming up. Floyd Mitchell, what's going on, brother? Doing doing good, buddy. How you doing? And I misplayed that route. Sorry, Davis. I'm sorry. I got you out of position there. And that was a backwards pass, and Hunter is crushed. Lots of big hits on that play. Second down and 12. Get that out of here. Let's go, Davis. This dude is such a beast. I'm going to go spy gold. On third and 12, see what happens. And that pass is caught, but a good tackle from Holden Tharp. And we hold him to fourth and five. They're going to go for it, though. From the 29. Must not have a really good kicker. The crowd is not liking the call, though. And that's picked off by Lavelle Luke, the freshman middle linebacker. He's going to take it all the way. Pick six, Kansas. Rock Chalk Jayhawk, baby. What a play. Big Geo, what's going on, bro? It's been a while. Yeah, it's all good, man. Hey, you can tune into the streams anytime you want, buddy. And 90 plus overall, true freshman middle linebacker. With a game-changing play, a 71-yard pick six. And that was actually uh, a pretty good drive from Colorado, just not a good throw. 
Extra point up and good. It's 7 0. Just broke Hammer's heart in the chat. Out here rooting for Colorado. Feels bad for him. Let's go, Jenkins. Man, the wind is outrageous right now. Okay, he blocked me right into the tackle. Let's go. All right, back to it. Lavelle Luke is on fire. Buffaloes starting us off at their own 27-yard line. Pretty decent field position to start. And they're going to hand us off. Halfback slam. And nearly got to the outside. Another good run for McCauley. He's got 27 yards in the game. I got stuck on my own guy. And that is nearly picked off by Murphy, the number two corner. Or no, McDonald, rather. And that brings up third and four. Let's send the house. Fire green. Let's go, boys. And the hit on the quarterback. It's a fumble. Recovered by Lee. And it's another defensive touchdown for Kansas. Let's go. The scoop and score. Edwards, back from his suspension, has two tackles, two for a loss, and a sack and a forced fumble in the game already. Defense is showing out the last two games. Good grief. Our offense hasn't even been on the field yet. And we are up two touchdowns, 14 to nothing. Man, it's, it's so fun to play when your defense is performing the way that these guys are right now. I got absolutely, oh my goodness. What a tackle. Oh, my goodness. A broken tackle again. Harrison, the kicker, brings him down. Wow. The <laughs> quarterback sucks. It's going to be okay, Hammer. I'll get another takeaway right here. All right, Colorado starting this drive from their own 37-yard line. And a great tackle from Davis. Let's go. He can do it in pass defense, and he can come up and run support. Loss of one. On the run. And I misplayed that. Still got the tackle though. I over pursued that route big time. Sometimes I'm just too fast for my own good. Feels bad. I think we're just going to run man coverage most of the game. And it's picked off by Davis. Let's go. The user interception, baby. Three takeaways in the first quarter. Our offense is finally going to get on the field. Goodness gracious. You'd love to see it. Unless you're Hammer in the chat. Then you, then you just don't love to see it at all. You can hear me now? <laughs> Hammer, you guys are uh, you're playing a little bad right now. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I mean, three turnovers in one quarter is... Oof, that's tough. Our defense has 11 takeaways the past two games. 11.
Kale Pick is in at quarterback. Can I bench your quarterback? Uh, absolutely not, buddy. Sorry. Kale Pick hesitates. And gets first down up to the 44-yard line of Colorado. Not nearly having as much success on the ground this season as he did uh, in the second half of season number one. But still pretty efficient, I guess. Make him run laps. I can't make your quarterback run laps. That's not how this works. Oh, it's a touchdown. Kale Pick is gone. The block from the fullback. I mean, wow. Good grief. Look at this block. Boom! He's dead. And so far, we are just, uh... We're running circles around Colorado. Same thing we did against Baylor. Last two games, we have put up 84 points and allowed zero. Let's go, boys. Get him. Good tackle. Don't know why your profile picture was glitching out. You know, I was wondering the same thing, Hammer. I really was. I was like, why is this picture, like, literally just black? There's nothing there. All right, Colorado. What are you going to do this time, huh? What do you got for me? FX slam. Harris nearly gets to the outside. Good tackle by McDonald. Gonna be a run. And McCauley gets the first down for Colorado. Decent numbers. 49 carries, 232 yards. Not bad. Not bad at all. And a drop pass over the middle. That was a good throw from Ingram. But Hunter cannot haul it in. Also, Hammer, how's the uh, how's the uh, podcast coming along there, buddy? Do I have a problem with your profile picture being black? No, I was just wondering where the heck it is. For a moment, I was like, is this a Hammer Jammer imposter? Like, what, what in tarnation is going on out there? Third down and eight for Colorado. And that was a really good catch from Lewis. Nothing I could do to defend that. Unless I was the flash. Podcast is up. Nice. Obviously, I have not checked since I've been streaming. And Davis with a nice tackle out of bounds. Nine yard pickup. Colorado with 111 yards of offense. And nothing to show for it except for three turnovers. And nearly a fourth. McDonald drops the pick. All right, third down and one. Seven seconds left in the first quarter. Goal line set. And the fullback's going to get it. Big time hit from the free safety, Lubbock Smith. And that's going to end the first quarter. We're on top 21 to nothing here in Boulder, Colorado. Buffalo is looking to right the ship this year. I mean, three straight losses. Uh, they're in a tough spot right now. And they definitely did not start this game off uh, very well either. 
Oh my goodness. Oh, this should have been a pick. That was Edwards. He's having a great game coming back from suspension. If only he didn't break rules and miss two games. Smith! Oh my goodness, nearly picked off by two players. This quarterback is playing with fire, and Edwards is, oh my goodness. I don't know, I've called his name so many times already. Just, if you could just not get suspended, you could be doing this every game, my guy. I'm really surprised Colorado's already thrown the ball 16 times. Their running back's pretty good. I'd keep trying to feed him. Instead, they're going to keep trying to throw it. And that's picked off by McDonald. Let's go. Fourth takeaway for the defense. Second pick of the year for McDonald. That was a user pick as well. Switched on. Took it away. Snagged it out of the sky. Plus one motivation for DBs, you know, because they need it, apparently. What do we got going on here? And Bashir's with a nice catch to the 35-yard line. First down, Kansas. Camera, you don't hate it here. Come on now, you love it. You absolutely love it, buddy. Tyler Hunt with a catch to the 21. Let's go. We're throwing it, boys. I'm telling you, if you have NCAA Football 11 on the PS2, lob passes. It's all you can do, guys. It's the only thing that is remotely accurate in this game. You cannot do a bullet pass. You just can't. They get picked nearly every time. Oh, break one sack attempt. Too bad there's uh, four other Buffaloes there chasing me down. Feels bad. Lost nine yards on the play. That is unacceptable. If I'm being completely honest here. McDougald! Oh, just overthrown. Third down and 19 coming up. Not a good spot to be in for sure. We're not in field goal range. Yeah, maybe. That'd be tough to make, though, I think. All right, pick. Just uh, break a tackle and then get sacked anyway. That's fine. Do I try the field goal? All right, let's try it. This is a 47-yard try for Francis. We got... Oh, we do have the wind. We should be able to make this easy. Easy money. Kick is up. And the kick is good. Let's go. 24 nothing here in the second. Beautiful kick by the freshman. Now we're going to kick this through the back of the end zone. Hopefully. Harrison. Nope. Is he going to return it? He is. Let's go. McGriff with a nice play, avoiding all the blockers. We only have the ball uh, on offense for eight plays. That's ridiculous. Counter. There's McCauley. See, if I was them, I would keep handing him the football. Probably the best player on their offense, to be honest. Every time he's touched the ball, they've gotten positive yards. You know, he's not fumbling. He's not throwing picks. I 
They're going to hand it to him again. Look at that. First down. He's got 48 yards. He's averaging 6.8 per carry. Like, why not keep feeding him the football? And they're going to give the fullback this time. He'll pick up three or four. Let's go defense. Direct snap. And what a hit. Oh my goodness. That was Arps, I think. Nope, Johnson Jr. That's the defensive tackle. Getting a massive hit on the running back. And that will bring up third and four. We're going to go Thunder Green. And what a hit. He didn't stand a chance. Holden Tharp just completely unblocked. Fourth tackle of the ball game. I cannot believe that they went with an RPO. Alright, they're going to punt it away. I'm not sure who's back there. We did have an injury. And it's Sims. Sims is back from his injury. Missed a couple games. Has a nice stiff arm. Gets up to the 33. Just the ninth play of offense for Kansas. And I don't know how we got that pitch away, but Hunt gets two yards off the right side. Tyler Hunt, deep downfield, comes away with it, and he is dragging the defender all the way to the 10. Let's go. Pick up to 124 yards passing. What an effort by the halfback. My goodness. The hammer says it's rigged. Okay, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, we're terrible in the red zone this season. I mean, only three misses, but 14 tries, only five touchdowns. And Hunt breaks a tackle, gets up to the three. All right, where's the triple option up in this beast, huh? No? Anywhere? Hello? Where's the other one? Oh my goodness gracious. There we go. Triple option. Good grief that took forever to find. Like, I, I know we got some triple options in here. Oh my goodness. What a play by pick. I mean, he lost a yard, but broke the tackle. That was pretty sweet. Trying to go see AEW. Nice, Tyler. Hope you get there, buddy. I'm probably going to get sacked on this play, guys. Yep. Called it. All right, good hold for the Colorado defense. Holding us to another field goal. That's fine. Francis on for his second field goal attempt of the game. Try to waste as much clock as we can here before halftime. 
Kicker is on fire because of the long field goal that he made last time out. And this one is up. And it's good. 27-0. 25 seconds left in the first half. Five play, 58-yard drive, 214 off the clock. Harrison knocks it in the end zone. See if he'll return this one. I think not. Alright, they have three timeouts. 24 seconds. Let's see if Colorado tries to push the ball downfield at all. Let's go defense. And they're going to go direct snap. Cuts it back left side. Good run again. Uh, but a good tackle there as well. If I'm Colorado, I come out in the second half and I put the entire game plan around McCauley. They're not giving him enough touches. They're putting the game on their quarterback's shoulders and that is just a big mistake in my opinion. As it is 27-0. 27-0, boys. As we head into the locker rooms. So if we can hang on to this and get the dub... We will be bowl eligible for our second straight year. Terzilli on for the return. Gets some nice blocking. Can't stiff arm the defender, though. Good tackle at the 27. Coach sucks, fire the coach. Oh my goodness. Run pick. Kale pick down the sideline of the 47. Good run to start the second half. Pick up to 64 yards rushing on seven carries. And he's got one of them things, a touchdown. Buffalo's getting stampeded on. Yeah, it's a bit rough right now. I mean, they started off with three turnovers in the first quarter. That that really crushed them, to be honest. Throwing it up top to Hunt. And he comes away with it inside the 10 down to the 5. Man, what a game he's having receiving the football. Pick with 172... Uh, Passing yards on just five attempts in the game. Good to see we know how to throw the ball. Can we block on first and goal? Can we do it? Easy touchdown for Kale Pick as we extend the lead. Boise State 6-0. They just beat Toledo 35 to 7. Texas wins again. Francis on for the extra point. Still in the zone. Extra point up, and it is good. 34-0. And this stadium is real quiet. Three plays, 73 yards. Set up by a 48-yard pass to the running back, Tyler Hunt. Out of the backfield, went in motion, and just ran a go route. Nice tackle. All right, let's see what the game plan is for Colorado. I mean, they're getting some yards. They're just not producing. Same thing happened with Baylor. Baylor had nearly 300 yards of offense, and they did nothing with it. My quarterback has more rushing yards than their running back this season. More touchdowns as well. We 
who scored 97 points the past two games, allowed zero. And third down and short coming up. Well, third and four. About medium, I guess. And McCauley is going to get the first down. See, that's what I'm saying. Every time he's got the ball, he's making plays. He's falling forward. He's moving the chains. He would be the focal point of my offense. 100%. Not that time, McCauley snuffed that toss player right out. I'll tell you what, man. Second down and seven. And deflected away by Davis. Almost another pick. And Georgia beats Florida. Third down and seven. And what a catch from Hunter. He lays out for it and moves the chains for the Buffaloes. As a coach, that is unacceptable. Um, but just as a fan of football, that was a fantastic play by the receiver. There is Harris, the number two running back, and he's going to pick up six, maybe seven yards up the middle. Lubbock Smith on the tackle. And another diving reception. This time it's Adams laying out for it. We've got ten hurries. Two sacks and three INTs, uh, not to mention a forced fumble and a scoop and score. Best drive of the game so far for Colorado. Man's wide open over the middle, and he threw it to the right instead. He had the tight end wide open on the post route. Uh, I guess he just didn't see him. Feels real bad. Let's go. Good play by Tharp. All right, third down and seven from the 28-yard line. They do have the wind at their backs if they do so choose to kick a field goal if we get the stop here. So definitely a manageable kick. And we are going to get the stop. Good tackle from Lee. Fourth and three coming up. And they're going to go for it. I like the call. Ninety-eighth in the country on fourth down tries. Just 33% conversion rate. Let's go defense. Hands it off. And McCauley dives and does not get it. So the defense... Stand strong. Let's go. And Kale Pick, the quarterback, gets maybe a yard. That was really well defended. Pick with 69 yards for the culture on the ground. Man, that fullback got creamed. There we go. What a pitch to Hunt, and he might go. Tyler Hunt up the left side of the field, and he's gone. Beautiful play by the quarterback, and we are cruising here in, in uh, Boulder, Colorado. 
And Nebraska beats Texas A&M, so the Aggies suffer their first defeat of the season. And we have now scored 103 points the last two games combined. Extra point is good, 41 to zero. Just a 31 second touchdown drive. Now, where was all of this against Kansas State? Somebody please explain this to me. Good return here. And McDonald saves the touchdown. Best starting field position of the day for Colorado at the 41-yard line of Kansas. McCulley almost breaks it. Go defense. And Colorado actually listening to me now. Finally just giving McCauley the ball a bunch of times. Second down and seven. McCauley again. And Davis almost forces the fumble. Good job from McCauley holding on to it. They're down at four coming up. Let's go defense. Let's go. Play action. And nice pass. He was wide open. That was man coverage. Not sure what happened to the linebacker. Obviously he was taking a nap. Colorado threatening. They're inside the ten. And we get the sack. Who was it? That looks like Lavelle Luke, the freshman, and it is. And he just runs right by the uh, backup halfback. Loss of three. It's second and goal from the 12 now. 15 seconds left in the third quarter. And that is deflected away by Lee. That was almost a pick. Lee had the scoop and score in the first quarter. Can we hold them? Third and goal from the 12. Nine seconds left in the third. Let's go. And what a throw. He hangs in the pocket. Takes a massive shot from a blitzing linebacker. And delivers the strike for the touchdown. Colorado finally on the board. Really good drive set up by the uh, really good kick return. Man, he got crushed. That was Johnson, the outside linebacker who hit the quarterback as he got rid of the ball. Let's block it. Nope, we just uh, <laughs> just laid out the kicker, though. That's Hall Miller coming back from his suspension. Terzilli. Five yards deep. We return those, baby. Let's go. Up to the 25. I like it.
We've only had the ball for... This is our 19th play of offense, guys. Wide open is Hunt. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what a run after the catch for Tyler Hunt. And that will get us to the fourth quarter. Get your fours up in the chat, boys. We're on top. To, uh, 41 to 27. Or 7, rather. Oh, my goodness. I'm just, like, making up numbers for Colorado. I'm sure Hammer loves that. What do we do here, huh? What do we do? Hunt again! Oh, this time it is deflected away. Alright, second down and ten. From the 47. And really good tackle by the strong safety. Pick up to 76 rushing yards in the game. Alright, third down, three. Money. First down for Hunt, and runs a man over as well. See if we can actually have a sustainable drop. They're going to challenge the ball spot. Okay. Uh, if you insist, I guess. He's clearly over the marker. And it's not even close. One of the worst challenges you'll ever see. Wow, nice block there, uh, 67. You trash. That should have been a huge play. Ball at the 40-yard line. Pick and Hunt both in the zone right now. And no block. Man, 67, you need to get off the field, son. You are garbage. They're down nine coming up now. I could have thrown that to Hunt, but why do that when I can just easily run for the first down? Really good game from Pick. Almost 200 passing yards, almost 100 rushing as well. On just 25 plays, we nearly have 400 yards of offense. And the truck stick, Tyler Hunt, down inside the one-yard line. He's over 100 yards rushing today. Look at this run. Man, just bulldozes three guys. And the safety saves the touchdown. We're going to run the uh, same exact play. Why not? Run the clock down to about four minutes. Snap the ball. Get in the end zone for another tutty. And get closer to that 50-burger. And Hunt is actually denied the end zone. Great play by the defensive end. It's alright, we'll just run some more clock down. That's fine. Drew him off sides. That hard count got him. 
Let's take the free play and redo second down. One of these ISOs is about to work, right? It's got to. From inside the one. This time, Hunt is in for the touchdown. Good hit by the safety, but a little bit too late. Extra point from Francis is good. 48 to 7 with 321 left in the ball game. And Big 12 action here in Boulder, Colorado. That was an 11 place, 75 yard touchdown drive. Let's go, Farley. Man, if I was them, I'd be returning that kick. Why not? Good catch by Adams. And that was a pickup of eight. Second to two coming up. Man, Pick does not have any touchdown passes in the game, but he's been pretty good. Most of his yards coming uh, just throwing it deep to hunt on go routes. And Davis, oh my goodness, the closing speed to get there for the deflection. That was awesome. Let's go three four under, Thunder Green. Two yards to go. And that's my man over there. Counter, stiff arm, big hit. Let's go, Lavelle Luke, his fifth tackle of the ball game. Monstrous collision in the backfield. Fontenot on for his 29th punt of the season. He's got a long of 64 this year. That's uh, that's pretty good. All right, Sims, what do you got for me? A nice return up the right sideline. Just needed one more block, and he was gone. Dang it. All right, here we go. From the 49. Up top to Hunt again. And that time, it is dropped. I mean, if they're going to leave him one-on-one, -on -one, I'm going to throw him the ball. It's just how it's going to be. I don't care if we're up by a 1,000. Hunt gets to the outside, and he might go. Tyler Hunt, he's gone again. There's the 50-burger. Let's go. Really good day for Tyler Hunt against Colorado. He's got to have over 100 receiving yards, I believe, as well. Extra point up, and it's good from Francis. I'm going to try to sky this kick a little bit. Try to keep it in the field of play. Give our guys some 
Uh, time to get down there. Should be a pretty quick tackle, I think. Nope. Alright, not bad. Not bad. I'll take it. All right, 213 left in the game. We have 460 yards of offense, and Colorado has 230. And that was a severe overthrow. That was an in-and-out route, and that did not work. Nice pass to Harris, and gets nine yards. Third and one coming up. Edwards with another tackle. Fullback dive. Easy first down for Franklin. I got cut. That was a nice chop block on me. Colorado with 67 rushing yards right up the middle. And Franklin is uh, celebrating down 48 points. Colorado pulled their starters. Yeah, they sure did. I'm keeping my starters in, though. I don't care. Pad the stats, baby. Lavelle Luke gets another sack. That's our fourth sack of the game. We got 14 hurries and three picks as well. Man, what a hit. My goodness. I'm going to decline that. Third and ten coming up. That big hit counted. That was kind of vicious. Alright, third and ten. One ten left in the ball game. From their own 43-yard line. And we get the sack again. That was Marshall, his first sack of the game. See what Sims can do on the punt return. We nearly got there to block it. And Sims up to the 30. Good return. I do want to get the ball to Hunt one more time in the passing game. I got to get. I want to try to get pick over 200 yards passing. It's been a while since we've done that with him. Nope. And that's what I get. <laughs> Good tackle by Marin Jelly. It's alright, it gives our defense some good uh, red zone work. Let's get the stop. Let's do it. Put in this work, boys. Counter. And what a hit from Lubbock Smith. Good grief. His sixth tackle of the game. First for a loss today. Twenty trips to the red zone this year. Fourteen touchdowns, no field goals for Colorado. And Harris, he gets big hit again. This time it's holding Tharp. His seventh tackle of the contest. And that's going to do it, fellas. 55-7 to seven is the final from Boulder, Colorado. And the past two games, man, we're just cruising. We are now bowl eligible. Let's take a quick look at the stats. 
quick look around the country. And we'll get out of here for the night. All right, see what we did. 452 yards of offense, 255 on the ground, 197 through the air. Uh, let's see, they had 90 rushing. They should have ran the ball a lot more. Uh, they threw it 29 times, but we're less than 50%. 154 yards passing. We sacked them five times. We got sacked four times. Uh, they did really well on third down, 50%. Well, we had those three takeaways in the first quarter, and we did, we had the momentum for the rest of the game. Like There was just nothing they could do about it. Uh, let's see. Time of possession, they won that. Like I said, we were... How many offensive plays did we have? 31 to their uh, 62. pick pretty good game we didn't even give the ball to red lewis one time but we didn't need to tyler hunt 169 yards three touchdowns pick had 186 yeah 186 he had 86 rushing yards two touchdowns and 10 broken tackles combined receiving tyler hunt five for 172 yards that is a record for him could have been more but he had a drop hawkinson was five pancakes let's go left tackle that's what i'm talking about Tharp with seven tackles, Lubbock Smith, Lavelle Luke had six, and Tyler Edwards in his return from suspension had five tackles. Tackles for loss. Okay, we got, let's see, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten tackles for loss for the defense. Five sacks, two for Luke, Marshall, Tharp, and Edwards each had one. McDonald, Luke, and Davis with picks. Luke had the 71-yard pick six. I believe that was on the opening drive of the game. And we had nine pass deflections, three for Davis. He had six last game, so nine the past two games. Crazy. Edwards with a forced fumble. It was recovered by Taylor Lee. Returned 27 yards for a scoop and score. Those were the first two scores of the game. And that it, it was over. It was over from then on. Uh, Brad Francis officially got a 48-yard field goal today. Yeah, I believe that is a career long for the freshman. No punts. Terzilli with a 31-yard kick return. And James Sims with a 19-yard punt return. All around, a uh, really solid performance. And that should probably, I don't know if we're really moving the rankings, maybe one or two spots. And look at that, Duke still winless. 0-7, they lost to Boston College, 31-28. If you guys haven't already please slap that like button subscribe if you are new and join the discord community there's a link in the description below hope to see you guys in there we just had a new player or a new person rather uh join yesterday and just instantly started chatting it was pretty fun talk about pretty much whatever you want in there have a good old time take it easy marvin i appreciate you always stopping by bro really appreciate it man all right, we did get the four-star wide receiver from Noble, Oklahoma. He's 6'4", 190 pounds. Uh, his hands are only a D-plus, but you know what? That's what we got preseason training for, right? Discipline, poor. I don't like that, but good size receiver. 38-inch vertical, runs a 4'3", So, yeah, he's a freak athlete, and I am looking forward to seeing what he can do for us next season. We're going to save it quick as we jumped up to 21st. We do take on Texas A&M uh, in College Station. They just suffered their first defeat of the year. Who did they lost? Uh, they lost to Nebraska, if I'm remembering correctly. So that's going to be a tough contest in their stadium. Uh, I mean, we struggled against K-State in their stadium. So uh, maybe Aggies will have the same effect on us this week coming up. Uh, that game will be tomorrow. Around 4 Eastern Standard Time, we'll start the stream uh, for this game. Play at least three games tomorrow as well. So let's see, I believe we got Texas A&M. Uh, Nebraska is week 10. 
Yep, and they are ranked ninth in the country right now. And then week 11 will be traveling to Stillwater to take on the Oklahoma State Cowboys. So those are our next three games tomorrow. Hot and fresh. That's Alabama on the cover. Let's do our recruiting real quick before we get out of here. And we did lose out on... Oh, no. Who did we lose out on? No, we lost out on John Hall to Texas Tech. Oh, man. You couldn't wait until your visit, week 10. I mean, that's just rude. All right. That really sucks. Uh, I really wanted to get the offensive lineman. Uh, hopefully we can secure Justin Taylor, though. Uh, we definitely, oops, definitely need him. All right. Let's see what we got here. Soft verbal from Taylor still. He wishes he could be on the sideline for the A&M game. I mean, he can. Jason Jackson knows where on the field he wants to be. Oh, yeah. Uh, outside linebacker, of course. Soft verbal from David Ross, the other outside linebacker. And still a soft verbal from the tight end. So, I mean, there's no excuse. We should get all four of these guys. You know, that would be a huge get. We've already got two commits. So, if we could go into the offseason with six committed players already... I could focus a lot of our resources on offensive line um, and look for a, a, a really good athlete at quarterback as well. So hopefully we can get all these guys and, and focus on O-line. I really hope we get Taylor. I, if we miss out on him, I am going to be upset. I'm actually going to give him 31 points. Take a quick look at the uh, report card. Is there any truth to rumors of you leaving for a better opportunity elsewhere? Absolutely not. We are going to turn Kansas into a powerhouse, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right, we are currently on a two-game winning streak after our seven-game winning streak got broken up by K-State. BCS rankings are out. Broncos are in there. Top 25 polls. Broncos up to number three because Miami lost to... Uh, GT. So four undefeated teams in the top five. See North Carolina up to seven now. A lot of one-loss schools here. Oregon, 8-0. And, oh, and they're only 20th. That's outrageous to me. Absolutely outrageous. And we are up to 21. Houston lost to Navy. So there goes their undefeated season again. And Navy is now ranked after that win. Navy 6-1 on the season. Very nice. Stanford, top 25 now. Miami didn't lose that bad. Yeah, what was their score? Yeah, it was a close game. It was 24-21, so. Not a bad game. Quarterback for UNC up to number two in the Heisman voting. 27 touchdown passes, over 2,000 yards. Dude's going crazy right now. I love it. Oh, let's see. Players of the week. Kansas Luke is recognized following a drubbing of Colorado. Call him bus driver. Yeah, he had a fantastic performance. Uh, conference standings. Let's take a quick look. We're at the top of the Big 12. What? All right, we beat Missouri. We have to beat Nebraska. I mean, there's no excuses. We need to beat them. Obviously, we got to focus up on uh, Texas A&M first. That's who we got tomorrow to start the stream. And then Nebraska. And then who was the next one? Uh, Oklahoma State. Who is also... They had a winning record. I mean, everybody in our conference has a winning record. Let's see. K-State. Oh, they lost. I was hoping they won their game so they'd have a winning record. But So, we got nine schools with winning records in the Big 12. That is... Uh, that's actually pretty impressive, to be honest. Yeah, Nebraska matchup is going to be crazy hyped up, man. And they're on probation. Yep. 
I'm not sure if they're on like postseason probation or if they lost some scholarships. I don't know. Big 12 currently ranked second. All right. We're going to see what we got here. Turn that back on and save it. And I'm going to get out of here, guys. But, again, I appreciate everybody that stopped by the stream. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for at least a triple header against Texas A&M, Nebraska, and Oklahoma State. So a lot of Big 12 football tomorrow. Um, on your way out, slap the like button. Subscribe if you're new. And hope to see you guys in the Discord community. Follow that link in the description. Until tomorrow, guys, take it easy.